Breon come out, sit on the front steps, twist a blunt, light that up. He's sitting there smoking and thinking about at one four fingers. Fucked up in the head. These is A1 day ones. Real mission men. On the news, they were saying they found the murder weapon of 40 cal along with other guns. It's looking bad. So right when he was in his thoughts, an old head named Rob from around the way come walking up the street, speed walk. No sooner as he spot Breon, he come straight over there like, boy, you seen the news? He like, man, I just seen four fingers in them all over the news. Talk about they done killed some girl, yo. Breon like, I seen that shit, man. So Rob like, man, what the fuck them boys went off like that for? Breon like, man, that shit ain't even true, huh? Rob was like, oh, all right. Knowing damn well Breon lying. But anyway. So Breon asked Rob, like, what you ready to do? He like, shit, for real? Breon like, come on, walk me to the bar real fast, yo. I get my motherfucking mind right. Rob like, shit, all right. So Breon tell him, hold up. He ran in the house, grab the strap. Come back out, they walk to the bar. When they cross North Avenue, you can still see the girl Crystal House all yellow taped up and shit. But she live right next to the bar. Teddy bears and bottles, all and that shit right there in front of our house by that light pole. Breon felt funny as shit walking past that shit knowing he did it. But anyway, the bar was called Robin's Nest. When they got into the bar, he had to wait in a line at the counter. Now, no sooner as Breon walked in the bar, there was two dudes in there waiting. One of the two dudes walked out soon as he walked in. Like, no sooner as he seen Breon, he walked straight out. But Breon ain't think nothing of it because he knew dudes from the neighborhood. But the whole time, the dude name was Lil Bubba. Bubba was a little grimy nigga from up Lafayette and Port that didn't really have no loyalty to nobody. He was just a little cruddy little motherfucker. So what does he do? When he spots Breon, he runs out to the payphone because he's aware of the bounty on Breon head. He makes the phone call. Couple phone calls get exchanged. Mr. Fletcher speeding up that motherfucker. It only took him a good three minutes to get up there. Breon and Rob still in the line. Mr. Fletcher pull up, hop straight out, no hesitation. Big Glock 4-5 in his hand. He get to looking around and shit. He spots Lil Bubba, who was standing on the corner outside the bar for real. Bubba gave him the nod, like basically telling him like, he in there. Cause see, all niggas told Mr. Fletcher was, the little dude with the gray on gonna be out there. He gonna tell you if he in there or not still. But anyway, when Fletcher got the nod, he dropped the ski mask down. Walked up to the bar, snatched the door open. The way he opened the door made everybody look like the fuck. Not giving a single fuck. He up the Glock. It's about six people in the bar still that was in line. Breon and Rob being two of the six. But anyway, man, Fletcher up that Glock. Got to letting that bitch off. Boop, 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 boop. His main target was Breon. But the rest of them niggas in the bar, they was fair game too because they was from up north yet in Port. So he ain't aim around nobody. When Fletcher realized which one was Breon, Breon was already hit three times, but he managed to get his gun out. Old head Rob was laid across the bar counter, out of there, hitting the side of his head. When Mr. Fletcher realized which one was Breon, he tried to walk down on him. Breon let off, boom, boom, boom. Hit Mr. Fletcher square in the middle of his chest. He turned around, run out the door, fall slam on his face outside the bar. Flat dead, got in his hand, ski mask on his face, in the pool of his own blood. As Breon breathing got heavy, he dropped the gun. Frustrated, Breon come out, sit on the front step.